Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. It's been a while. Um, I hope you're all well. Um, today's video is going to be another pen turning video, but with a difference. Um, I was out on a walk a couple of months ago with the family and we came across this um, branch. And I've chopped it up into two usable lengths. And what we're going to do is we're going to mill this on the thickness and the plane and the table saw. And we're going to make our own pen length and then we're going to turn a pen with it. We're going to see how it turns out. Now, I'm not quite sure on the species of this one. It looks to be... Um, I don't know, in fact I've got no idea what species this is, if anyone can tell me, leave a, li a link in the comments down below, I'll just, uh, if that can come in a little bit, I'll, I'll zoom in on the grain for you in a minute. Uh, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys later on at the end. So we'll set up the stop block and what we'll do is we'll use the pen tube so we'll start with the cap first and what we'll do is we'll put the cap next to the teeth of the blade like so and then we'll bring in the stop block and then we'll leave ourselves a little bit of wiggle room for trimming it down later on on the tape on the, on the drill press see that
Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark up each pen, each kit. So this will be number one, and this will be number two. And we also want to keep the grain direction, so we're going to give a little mark so that we can line the grains up later on. Now that the cap's been done, we can bring in our main body of the pen tube and repeat. Put the tube in, bring the stop block over with a little bit of wiggle room. Just to see. Alright. Grab your pencils. Now it's quite easy to use the pencils as a as a stop down when you're doing this and the rubbers stop it from sli uh, slipping. Okay, so now we're going to find centre using our centre finding tool. Let me get that to focus in. There we go, we'll just do a line, rotate, we we'll another line, and rotate, and another line, rotate. And what we end up with is a square in the middle. And you can just join up at the corners. And that there is centre. So a little tip for you as well is that when you're drilling, you don't want your drill to bottom out on the uh, on the metal of the drill press clamp. Just put a little scrap of, of wood underneath it, and then when you feel it going through, you know when to stop. Okay, so we'll do the others now, and then we'll get ready for turning. Okay, so we're going to brass up. We're going to uh, rough up these brass tubes now, so that the glue sticks to it better. Um, bit of a disaster on the drill press. We got one pen drilled out perfect. Um, fortunately, the lid of another pen um, kind of split. I was being a little bit too frugal. I didn't see this damage here. And when that split off, I had nothing left, and it just split on me. So, not to worry, uh, I can still reuse that little piece, I can use that on another kit. So, it looks as if we're just going to get one pen out of this, which will be a fountain pen. Um, I'll just get rid of that little loose bit. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to rough up the, the tube now with some 320 grit sandpaper, if I can find it. Okay, time to glue in the tubes. Um, a lot of people when they're making pens they'll use epoxy to glue in their tubes to the, to the brass. I use CA glue. Always have, never had any problems with it. Uh, and that's what I'm going to use today. So, pen gloves on. Put your fingers over the end. Now a lot of people they'll also, they'll bung up the, the ends with stuff to stop the glue going in. I don't really have a problem with it so I just don't bother. Glasses of glue. Spread it all around. Put it in the pen. Done. Just the same now. Put the body one. Loads of glue. Swell it all around. And then she goes. Done. I'm going to give that a square to activate it. 
and we'll take it over to the drill press table again and we'll just um, trim off the tops with the battle trimming tool and we'll get turning. Okay, so we're ready for turning. So we've uh, trimmed our blanks down. We've uh, got it mounted up on the lathe ready to go. And that was that mark I made earlier on and that means that I know which way the pen sits and we'll have the grain matching then if any grain pattern pops through later on it will be we'll know which way it orientates this is going to be the top of the cap and this is going to be the end of the pen so headphones on dust mask on and we'll get ready to rock Okay, so we've just finished turning it and that is the wood that's popping through it's got a nice little faint pattern in it hopefully that will accentuate when we put the glue on later on but that's uh, that's a lovely piece of wood so we're going to start sanding it down now we'll do 320 uh, 600 and 800 and then we'll start doing the CA finish Anyway, CA glue finish time, and we're going to use the same glue that we use to glue the tubes in. And the way that we apply that is we have a little bit of kitchen towel, and we put a little bit in each of the corner, and we wipe it on. We turn the the, um, the lathe by hand uh, because mine doesn't go slow enough. If you've got a slow lathe, then you can do this with the blade with the with it turning. But I do it by hand, and I get a good finish. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. Is we're going to wipe it on like so. So we just get a, an amount on the on there, and we'll just do that. I'm just waiting for the glue to dry, so just going to give a quick shout out to Joel, and Gwen's mum. Bonjour. It'll take a while. Got five coats to put on for this. Be a lot of tea. Luckily, I've got my biscuits.
Okay, so the next step now <coughs> is we're going to put some of this polishing compound on the on the pen blank, and that will take out any of the scratches or any of the imperfections that are still in the glue. And we'll, we'll put a little bit on this and we'll work it into the wood as the as the lathe is going. And we won't need don't need a lot. That's more than enough to do both blanks. That's lovely and smooth now. That's got a really nice touch to it. Let's see if we can zoom in that. Okay, so here's all the components for our pen. We're going to make a rollerboard from this one. Uh, so these are the bits that we've turned and these are the components for the pen so we're just going to assemble it now and we start off by pushing this piece in together There's our pen. So from a, a tree branch to a pen, didn't take much, providing you got the tools of course. Quite pleased with that. So that will be on sale at Ballymaloo Craft Fair in November, if anybody wants to come down and have a look. This will be labelled up. Let me see if we can get some close up shots now of the grain. Okay guys, thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed that process, uh, it's a bit different isn't it? When you make your own blank from a tree branch from scratch and you get a, a working pen at the end of the process, it's well worth the effort. I think it's a little bit more interesting than buying a pre-made blank and just watching someone turn it. Um, I'm really pleased with the way this one turned out, I had no idea what wood it is or what species it is as I said at the beginning. Um, but it has turned out to be absolutely stunning. I love this pen. It's really nice. It's got a lovely nice grain pattern and the finish is fantastic on it. Um, as I said, this one will be for sale at Ballymaloo Craft Fair in Cork. Uh, and that is on, I think it's the 15th, 16th and 17th of November. Um, if anyone would like to pop down and say hello, I will give you 10% off the price of this pen if you mention this video. Uh, anyway guys, that's it for this one. I'm glad that you tuned in and I will catch you guys on the next one. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.